barbell cycling. We're gonna go over barbell cycling today due to the open coming up in a few months and really about six months, but since we have been doing a lot more cycling in our uh, template work and a lot of consults I've been having, a lot of people have been talking to me about needing to cycle the barbell better. So some things to come to mind when talking about barbell cycling is just efficiency of the movement of the barbell. So just some things I want to talk about with thrusters and with a lift like a snatch. Changing up your stance from the get-go, going a wider stance, obviously practicing all of these things, but changing your stance each time you approach the bar in training to get yourself ready for competition. So first, with the thruster, starting a little bit wider stance. This is one of my favorite things to do. I have some shorter, some stubbier legs, so it's easier for me to go up and down as opposed to someone with a little bit longer uh, limbs. But a wider stance will always allow you to get a little bit faster with that squat. Making sure though you are going below parallel. So that's the one thing you must make sure. Um, also one thing to take into consideration if it is like 20 snatch or 20 thrusters for time, coming off the ground or, or a quick repetition, coming off the ground and getting immediately into that squat. So one movement you'll see is here and then going right into that, th or that front squat. So here coming up into it and going right into that thruster. So basically almost like a sats clean kind of thing. Um, that's one competition move to practice, but the, the biggest bang for your buck is the st uh, changing of your stance. When you talk about snatching, same idea, a little bit wider stance, and as you come down, getting into this movement of a more deadlift to muscle snatch. Working on efficiency of the bar, again, finding what way works best for you. One of my greatest tips is to practice all of these in interval style training, mark down your times, see what's more efficient, see what feels better, then practice it at a sustainable rate. Doing one thing, then test it again, same workout but different strategy for it, and see what works better for you, what feels better in that long run of that 12 to 15 minute range, which that average of CrossFit open workouts is about that 12 minute. Give some of these a try. Again, I'll, practice, I'll show you a couple more thrusters and snatches just to take note of the stance uh, and I'll move it in between, but you'll see my footing change up. So we'll start a little bit closer here. A little bit wider. And then same thing for snatches, a little bit closer, a little wider. Shorter range of motion. Enjoy guys.